Hello and welcome to another episode of Historically Marked. I am in Jacksonville, Illinois, and I am just outside the site where Illinois had the first hospital for the insane. Historical marker is just right in front of me, or right behind me, and I will tell you more about that. Here we go. All right, so this one was erected and placed here in 1992 by the Illinois State Historical Society. Well, it says on here, it's also known as the Department of Transportation, but you know, the Jacksonville Area Genealogical and Historical Society and Development Center. All right, here's what the marker says here. Miss Dorothy Dix, in her memorial to the Senate and House of Representatives of Illinois, urged their serious con consideration of the afflicted condition of an increasing class of insane sufferers, whose healthful exercise of their intellectual fac faculties were withdrawn, incapable of self-government and self-care. As a result, the assembly passed a law in 1847 stating there should be there shall be established within four miles of the town of Jacksonville, County of Morgan, an institution to be known as the Illinois State Hospital for the Insane. Joseph Morton, James Dunlap, John J. Harden, John Henry, Samuel D. Lockwood, William G. Thomas, Bezalel Gillette, Gillette, Nathaniel English, and Owen M. Long constituted a body corporate as trustees. The building under Superintendent Dr. James M. Higgins was open to accept the first patient, Sophronia McElhaney McLean, from McLean County, November 3rd, 1851. The first deceased patient buried on the site on February 13th, 1852 was Martha Fisher from Morgan County. This Emanuel North Cemetery has 234 recorded burials from 78 counties, 1852 to 1879 as copied from an old cemetery book uncovered in 1979 at the old administration building. The deceased hereon represent a cross section of various lifestyles, friendships, occupations, religions, races, and creeds from fam families of many nationalities and origins. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give you a look at the burial ground, which is just right in front of me. Here's a marker, but there is no historical inscription on it, and yeah, it's a little dirty from all the maintenance here. This is an epitaph to all the burials here. Peace, joy, and esteem surround the memory of the beloved resting here. I'm going to go ahead and give you a little slideshow on this subject. Here we go. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Historically Marked. I am Jason in Jacksonville, Illinois, signing off.